Francia Marquez vs. Meghan Markle, a conversation of empowerment and identity. In the vibrant heart of Colombia, a powerful dialogue unfolded at a women's empowerment forum that captured the attention of audiences around the globe. The venue buzzed with anticipation as two prominent figures took the stage, Francia Marquez, Colombia's vice president, and Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. This encounter, while seemingly a simple conversation, quickly turned into a captivating moment of cultural and political discourse, leaving an indelible mark on all who witnessed it. The forum aimed to amplify women's voices and discuss pressing social issues, from gender equality to environmental justice. As attendees gathered, the atmosphere was electric with hope and determination. Both Marquez and Markle are known for their advocacy, but their backgrounds and experiences are vastly different. Marquez, a former activist and community leader, rose from humble beginnings to become Colombia's first Afro-Colombian vice president. Markle, an American actress turned humanitarian, has been a global advocate for women's rights and mental health. As they took their seats, the audience was eager to hear how these two women would intersect their stories. But no one could predict the fiery exchange that would ensue. During the discussion, the conversation veered into personal territory. Markle spoke about her experiences as a mother, underscoring the importance of nurturing future generations. In a surprising turn, Marquez interjected, you don't have any kids. The audience gasped, caught off guard by the boldness of her statement. It was a moment that shifted the tone, igniting a dialogue that transcended personal narratives and tapped into deeper issues of authenticity and representation. Marquez's comment wasn't merely a jab, it was a profound reminder of the diverse experiences of womanhood. For many women, motherhood is a significant part of their identity, but it is not the only path. By addressing Markle's lack of children, Marquez opened a discussion about the myriad ways women define themselves beyond traditional roles. The exchange quickly became a focal point of the event. Marquez elaborated on her views, emphasizing that womanhood encompasses a wide spectrum of experiences. She spoke passionately about her upbringing, the struggles she faced, and how these shaped her identity as a leader. We are not defined by our ability to bear children, she asserted. Our power lies in our resilience, our stories, and our commitment to uplift one another. Markle, momentarily taken aback, responded with grace. I appreciate that perspective, she said. I agree that every woman's journey is unique. It's essential to honor those differences. Her acknowledgement of Marquez's point highlighted the importance of solidarity among women, regardless of their personal choices. As the conversation progressed, the contrast between their lives became more apparent. Marquez, deeply rooted in the socio-political landscape of Colombia, spoke candidly about the challenges faced by marginalized communities. She highlighted issues such as poverty, violence, and systemic racism, which are prevalent in her home country. Her experiences resonate with many women who have fought against the odds to create change. On the other hand, Markle shared her experiences in navigating the complexities of fame and public scrutiny. She discussed her mental health journey and the pressures faced by women in the public eye. This opened up a discussion about the different battles women face, whether in the political arena or the entertainment industry. The dialogue between Marquez and Markle illuminated the importance of cultural context in discussions about empowerment. While both women are advocates for change, their approaches are influenced by their backgrounds. Marquez's activism is grounded in the realities of Colombia, where she has fought for environmental justice and the rights of black and indigenous communities. Markle's advocacy, rooted in her experiences in the West, often intersects with global issues like mental health 